M0FXB, welcome to my videos on the TID Radio H3 and today we're on the hacking page by Marcus called TID H3 Hacking. We've got the latest modified firmware from Nick Shaw or Marcus, uh, thank you very much, this is 7.2. Let's load it and get all the new features and one of them will be the new signal meter. To load this today, we're going to use the TID radio software. So go to the link that I provide. You will have to log in and just click download and you'll get these folders. There's your download. If we click that, let's have a look at these folders. Double click here. You've got the software. I've just tested the software. It worked great. I highly recommend you run that first before you do the firmware, just so you know it's communicating. Get yourself a Bofun cable as well just a, a twin pin cable like that. They're only about five on Amazon. Where it says H3 programming here, just double click that and run it. And you'll end up with the software that I'm using now. Just go next, next, next with this one here and you'll have the software. So once your cable is connected, right click on the Windows squares at the bottom, right click, device manager, and just get your COM port number, double click here where it says ports, and mine is two, see there, two. Then on the software, this is just the programming software for memory channels, and there goes my phone. Just click COM, two, see it's two, if it doesn't show, reboot it. Click OK, and then you'll be able to read. Click read here, and there you are. So we know it's communicating. Get my memory channels, and of course, you know, if you've never used this before, just type in the frequencies, put, type in the name, the CTCSS, and then you can save it and send it back to the radio clicking right. But we'll close that program down for now. We're going to open the firmware program, which is called TID, TD H3 IAP. Okay, we've got our cable connected. We are going to select our COM port, the COM here, COM2. We get that because remember, we right click device manager. We find when our cable is connected, it's COM2 here, USB reader COM2. So we know that's the right COM. Open the file that we want to use for our firmware that we downloaded from the TID radio site, or if you're using modified from the TID H3 hacking page on Facebook, stroke GitHub. So the firmware's in there. I'm using the modified one because modified one, I want the signal meter. We're going to turn the radio off. We click start and then we put our finger on the PTT and turn on. So we go start, PTT, and then turn on. And you'll see there that the firmware's going in. We'll wait to the end and hopefully when it boots up, we'll actually have a signal meter. Give that a chance. Turn it, yeah, download successful, turn it off, unplug, turn it back on. Ooh, do you see that? It said Nick Shaw at the beginning. That was pretty cool. Do that again. So you, as you can see, you can add a modified, a modified boot screen, and there goes the signal meter. How nice is that? Yeah, so it's looking good. Please join the uh, TID Radio hacking group. Massive thanks to Marcus. There's also a GitHub page. And if you look down the group, there's lots of other people posting videos with different, you know, different modifications and experimentation. Bye for now, 7-3.